Well, we just want to strip all the old bodywork and all the old paint off of there, get right down to uh, the bare metal. And um, several ways you can do it. You can soda blast, you can chemical, or sandblast. We sandblasted some areas. It wasn't that bad, so... Uh, and then we took uh, 36 grit sandpaper and grounded the rest of it down. Uh, <clears throat> the, the hood and the fender, two fenders and a door over there, they've already been etch primed and the etching helps whatever you put over that um, stick. Uh, the etching primer neutralizes everything and uh, makes it adhere to it. Yeah, it's just a <clears throat> excuse me, just a two-part uh, etching primer. Makes it one-to-one. -one. It's a cat a catalyst, and um, when you're spraying it, usually it'll dry in about three to five minutes, and then you'll give it a second coat, and uh, from there on, you've got 24 hours to get a primer coat over it. So. Um, those have been etched and primed. And now the metal is not exposed to moisture and everything else because a lot of times it's bare metal when we're working on a car or anything, especially in the summertime when you're kind of, you know, you're sweating like a dog. <laughs> you touch a piece of metal and you'll see your handprint in it, which will turn to rust because it's salt. So we have to go back and sand it down again and we've got this uh, rust inhibitor it also helps neutralize rust and uh, we spray it over there and it, any rust that's on there it will turn it, it turn it black and you know it's hopefully most of the time that'll take care of it and make it all stick. Does the uh, spray sound booth have a humidity control that minimizes humidity in the summertime? Uh, well, no, it does. It doesn't. But it, it uh, our intake is up through the roof, and it's it's um, it's blowing air into the booth, and then these little green filters, all of the exhaust goes out. Those you've got a lot of fast air movement, and then we usually keep the booth at 85 degrees. Uh, naturally, in the summer, it's about 120 in here. And you can bake a chicken, so it gets pretty hot. And for a painter, that is a nightmare because when you're priming or you get ready to paint, you know, you're going to sweat because it's hot. And I, myself, I've had to where I was painting a hood or something on the last coat of clear coat, and a little drop of sweat went right in the clear. And water and paint just don't mix, not like oil and water. Yeah, you say a few choice words, hop up and down, and do a few somersaults. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, you're not a happy camper because it means a whole lot of work. Sometimes if it's not bad, you can try to blow some air on it and evaporate it, let it through the clear cup. It's, it's not a happy thing to happen. So what's the next step on <clears throat> Yeah, this door has been taken down to metal. Um, I've sprayed um, a rust inhibitor on it and uh, wiped it off. And that's, uh, it's kind of like, you know, pickling the metal. It, it's kind of got a bluish tint to it. And now it's ready for, to be etched with the etch primer. So, um, you know, I'll only put two coats, I'll wait about I'll put one coat on, wait about three minutes, and then uh, put the last coat on. And then I've got 24 hours uh, for the time uh, that it, you know, you've got that window of opportunity to be able to get the primer out. Anything over 24 hours, you have to go back and scuff the etching primer and, you know, resand it. And so I'm going to go ahead and uh, etch this and I'll turn the fans on because this stuff will kill you if you don't have a mask on. <laughs> okay, that's what we'll do. As you can see I'm not wearing a mask. I probably should 
but I'm not going to be spraying a whole lot of volume of this material, and most of it is going to go out through the exhaust. I'm going to spray about 40 pounds. Now we'll just let that flash off and give it one more coat. Yeah, so we've got filters in the roof here, and all the that's uh, the in, uh, intake, and it's blowing air from the roof of this booth down and going out the sides. Oh, so the, the filter, we have filters here. It's the, filtered, yes, uh, filtered air. Intake, and then the uh, right. exhaust is the green uh -huh. filters. And a lot of booths, um, uh, they've got, this is a side down draft. Um, and then there's down drafts, semi down drafts. Uh, we, we found out this works well with uh, the water base because we have a lot more air movement going out to the sides and across the vehicle. And does it, it, does it dry faster than the It dries pretty fast. And, and if it doesn't, especially when we're doing the water base, we'll turn on these uh, uh, four blowers in the corner and we can aim those nozzles any which way we want which will help dry it. And I'll be ready to go right back over it with one more coat and let that flash off. It'll get a dry look to it. Then come in and uh, prime it. And the metal will be sealed and we don't have to worry about the exposed metal rusting again. Do you do the same process on the interior side? Right, yes, we do the whole thing. Any, any metal, because this is a total restoration, um, we've stripped the metal off the back side, and we'll go ahead and uh, etch that also. Okay, we've, we've sprayed it. Now, one more last coat, and we're ready for primer.